All right, guys. So make sure you guys stick Wait. to the end. Yeah, make sure you stick to the end of the video. Um, seriously, do. Um, but we love all y'all, and we hope y'all get something from it. Uh, that's it. What's up, everyone? I'm Lily. And it's DJ. And by the title, you already know what this video is about. It doesn't need much explanation. Um, we haven't seen the video yet, so we really don't even know the title or even if we're going to be able to do this for this video. Um, I don't even know if it's a, like a vlog or... I have no clue. What do you mean you don't know the title? Like of our video. Oh. I don't know what we're going to call this. Okay. Um, but y'all know what's entailed, so you ready to get into this? Yeah, I'm excited. You're excited for his yeah. comeback? So, so y'all know, um, we are Logan Paul fans, but don't think we're going to be biased because of it. Like, we're going to give our honest opinion. We're very open-minded, um, and what he did was wrong. It was very wrong. Okay, we understand that what he did was wrong, but also we understand him. Yeah, we do. Because we actually, like, we have actually watched all of his videos. Yeah, honestly. And, like, we understand, like, his character. Personality. Yeah. Yeah, and all that. And he is wrong for what he did, and... We're going to see here what he's going to say about this. Um, so, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see him back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so three, two, one, go. For 40 minutes, crying like a baby. Bikers, joggers, tourists, runners, they went by me. Police officers searching for suicidal people went by me twice. I'm standing at the ledge, leaning over the rail with tears flowing down to the waters. And I thought to myself, absolutely nobody cares. And then the voice in my head said, jump now, and I did. The devil. Damn. And the millisecond that my hands cleared the rail, my legs flew over it, he it was an instant regret. The depression was wiped from my mind, and all I wanted to do was live. And I thought, it's too late. Kevin Hines was 19 when he jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. He is one of the many incredible people that I've been grateful to meet over the past three weeks as I aim to further understand the complexity surrounding suicide. And I know I've made mistakes. I know I've let people down. But what happens when you're given an opportunity to help make a difference in the world? The backlash against the social media star. Very popular guy called Logan Paul is in some hot I think water. He's a complete and utter insensitive idiot. He's taking a break from daily vlogging. Even he says his latest content was his biggest mistake. I want to apologize to the victim and his family. It's time to learn from the past as they get better and grow as a human being. I'm here to have a hard conversation so that those who are suffering can have easier ones. So I've never been so humbled in my life by a single event. Were you kind of shocked by it? I was shocked to discover just how big this is. You've no. never known anybody that killed themselves? No one. No one. That was, that, was, that was part of the problem. It was just my ignorance on the subject. But in Ohio, where you come from, it's the second leading cause of death. And I know while I'm not able to solve the problem by myself, I want to be a part of the solution. And that solution began across the country in New York City. Can I that building? Spider-Man. We sat down with Dr. John Jay, director of the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. We have to change the conversation publicly from just focusing on suicide and how something bad is happening and say, well, what, what do we do about it? Help people understand that the first thing they need to do is reach out and talk to somebody when they're feeling in despair. Because you're not alone with it anymore. They, they, they've done studies with people who are, who are experiencing any kind of pain, including hanging off a cliff. You can hold on a lot longer if somebody is right there with you. I think as a society, as human beings, uh, we just have to be more compassionate. And that includes me too. That's something I'm learning along this journey. And something else that Dr. Aww. Draper told me were the five steps that anyone can take to help prevent suicide. Step one is simply just ask. Ask yourself, ask others, are you thinking about suicide? And I know that sounds like a daunting question, but literally that question can save lives. And step two, accordingly, would be just to listen. Be present, don't make any judgments. And then step three would be be there for them, even after you've already asked, because dependability is key. Step four is then help them connect. 
uh, whether it's with a friend, a family member, a local suicide hotline therapist, but help them reach out to someone so they don't have to deal with this alone. Lastly, step five is just check in on them. Show them that you care. Uh, call them up, say, hey, I wanna make sure you're okay. Can I check in with you over the next few days? So one of the things that is so important about reducing stigma is getting stories out there about people positively coping with suicide. Do you guys know anyone I could talk to with the lived experience of suicide? Ab absolutely. We have quite a number of people that, that we could, we could oh, refer over to. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. And that's how we got introduced to Kevin Hines. 17 years ago, Kevin jumped off of the Golden Gate Bridge and survived. These are individuals whose stories, when people hear them, they say, you know, maybe I can get through. As opposed to hearing stories when people have it. And, and those are, unfortunately, those are the stories that we've heard before. Now we're hearing more and more stories of people title, being yeah. more open <laughs> about it. And as I was saying before, Logan, for every one person that dies by suicide, there's 287 other people that think seriously about it but don't. Those are stories, again, that have not been told. If we told those stories of people who got through it as opposed to one who didn't, imagine what kind of influence that would have on people's behavior. When I found out that one in six high school kids seriously think about suicide, that's, that's stunning. Yeah. This is such a common problem. Logan, all I wanted was for one person to look me in my eyes and say, hey, kid, are you okay? I am so grateful to be alive, and I'm grateful today for every millisecond I get to breathe, because it was almost all ripped from me by me. What's one thing you would have said to your younger self, to the Kevin who is 19, sitting on the bus, if you were next to you, and instead of the guy who pointed and laughed, what would you say? I would just put my hand on the sh <laughs> I would just put my hand on my shoulder, and I would just say, I'm here for you. I got you. We need to be a society that comes together for every person in the community that's going through hell. And in order to do that, every person that's going through hell, whatever hell, has to be honest about their pain. And if they're gonna be honest about their pain, we are going to collectively answer the call and be there for that individual. Because if you don't see beauty in the next person you meet, you're not looking hard enough. You're incredible, dude. This is an honor for me. It's an honor for me too, brother. From this point on, I want to make an effort to contribute and immerse myself in the conversation, so I'm pledging to donate $1 million to various suicide prevention organizations, with the first $250,000 going immediately to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, so they can increase their capacity to help those in need. For anyone watching, I want you to know you are not alone, and most of the time, crisis passes. So if you or anyone you know feels alone or trapped, I encourage anyone to call or even text the suicide or crisis hotline. Both of those numbers are below, and although this is a tough conversation, it's important because things can and will get better. It's time to start a new chapter in my life as I continue to educate both myself and others on suicide. I'm humbled and thankful to say, this is just the beginning. You wanna go first? Honestly, like, what shocked me the most, even though, like, I already knew about this, was, like, you know, every, like, all these stories, these videos we watch about, like, people committing suicide and they have survived, like, literally all of them. They said, like, the instant they jump or, like, the instant they try to, like, kill themselves, like, they regret it. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's crazy because, like, like, you heard, like, the voice, like, saying, like, like, jump. Like that's the devil talking right there. Mm-hmm. You have anything else? Mm -hmm. Um Alright, I'm gonna try to maintain myself, but um what you gotta understand is what happened to Logan, like as much as you wanna think it's considered a bad thing and why he would do something like that. Um, God has a reason for everything. Um, and what you got to understand is, as you may take it as a 
horrible event and what he did was totally wrong even if it was wrong there was a reason behind it yeah because this is a lot bigger than the problem itself if the problem wouldn't have happened then like, this wouldn't have happened yeah and you don't know how many people are going to watch this that are affected by suicide every day and get help because of it and I read this post about um, some percentage of suicides going down after Logan like posted, posted that, the video. Yeah, even after he posted that initial video, it still went down. Um, and it just makes you realize that you might think you have a plan and you might think of why did this happen to me, no matter what it is in life. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I lost my best friend and I used to ask why, but the reasoning is bigger than that. God has a purpose for you. There's reasons why stuff happens. The reason why God lets the devil do things at times. Because it teaches you a lot more than what initially it was. Just like that dude that jumped off. Think about he, what, what he does now. I'm pretty sure he was the one that maybe started the be here tomorrow thing. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. he had the shirt on. If he would have never done that in the first place, None of that would have been possible. And Logan wouldn't have been sitting in front of him today. You know what I mean? Um, so, like, we're, we're very big Christian believers. You know what I mean? Um, and it doesn't matter what you believe in. Um, you believe in whatever you want. I'm not telling you to be Christian. I'm just saying God has a purpose in your life. No matter what you think your purpose is. God is the one that's going to guide you through it, and you're going to follow. Um, I think. Also, guys, um, like in our description, we're going to have the, the number. Yeah, the, the number as well, yeah. Uh, same number that was on here, because um, it is important. If you're dealing with something like that, like, don't be afraid to reach out to us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I'll be glad to talk to anybody over the- Sorry guys, our um, camera, died. camera died. But like I was saying, like, don't be afraid to reach out to us at all. Um, like, I'll have my email below probably. Um, reach out to me there and then we can come in contact on a more personal level. Um, if you're close by, like, I wouldn't mind driving, come and see you. Like, like it, it doesn't matter. Like, just reach out to somebody if you're having any type of suicidal thought like even if it even if you think it's small it's a lot bigger than you think and what the devil does is he'll use that against you and he'll keep using it against you little by little to, by little until you give up because like that's his purpose yeah it is to get you to do things like that it is because he wants you to end his life so he can take over you and you just got to know you have to be stronger than that. And the way to be stronger than that is not saying dealing it by yourself. It's by just asking for help. Um, but like, guys, like, seriously, call that number if you need it. And if you're not comfortable with that number, text it. And you don't know this, but... What? Don't talk, baby. Okay, guys. Like, I have texted that number. And, like, honestly, it's a real person just, like, trying to talk to you back. Like, it's not, like, it, like, it helps a lot, guys. So, if you're not comfortable calling, like, you can always text them. Honestly, that problem that I had before, like, I literally thought it was the end of the world. And, like, now that I look look back, I'm just like, like, wow, like, none of that, like, even matters anymore. Uh, we're gonna end it right
right there. Um, I hope you got something from this video. Um, like I said, if you need any help, if you just want to talk, uh, just comment below or just reach out to us. Or on social media. Or like, on any, any platform. It's all in the description. But uh, we love all of y'all. And we'll keep everyone in our prayers. And we hope y'all have a blessed day. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye.